For more than a decade, French prosecutors have maintained this was the work of Hassan Diab. It's October 1980. A motorcycle parked in front of a Paris synagogue, its saddlebags packed with explosives. The blast killed four people, injured dozens more. One day you are just a regular person doing your regular job, and then uh, the next day there is, you know, the association with a very uh, heinous crime. Rania Tafali and Hassan Diab were married for just two years when this all started. It was 2008, 28 years after the bombing, when the RCMP arrested Diab at France's request. I have been living a Kafkaesque nightmare. They spent six years fighting extradition before he was sent to France and thrown into prison. They didn't even let us say goodbye to him. Uh, so he was extradited right away. And, you know, we had a daughter who was asking about him. I was seven months pregnant. And it does leave a big void. She has raised the family and worked for his freedom ever since, relying on a coalition of supporters who do everything from helping around the house to fundraising for legal bills. The evidence against Diab was a mix of secret intelligence and handwriting analysis that many experts said was suspect. Even the judge who committed Diab for extradition called the case weak. The uh, evidence of his guilt or supposed guilt certainly hasn't changed. If anything, it's grown weaker over the years. The evidence of his innocence, however, has accumulated. It took years for French judges to come to that conclusion, today ordering his immediate release. They found numerous holes in the case, including evidence that Diab was in Lebanon writing university exams when the bomb went off. Lawyers called his family this morning with the news. I must have been making some noises because they, they told me, you know, Rania, please don't have a heart attack now. Um, but, you know I, 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 you know, I told them, like, it has been almost 10 years. 10 years, and today he's going to walk a free and declared innocent person. It is, um, it is really special. The relief is tempered by the toll. 10 years of legal bills. Children Diab missed growing up. A son he hasn't seen outside of a prison visiting room. He missed a lot, three years of, more than three years, three years and two months of, of the lives of his children that he would never get it back, no matter what. He is free tonight in Paris after more than 1,100 days in a French prison, confined to his cell for 22 hours a day. Tafali doesn't know when he will be home. He's free, but he doesn't have a valid passport, so he can't travel yet. And she just so hopes it's soon. I want it to stop. Well, I want Hassan to come back, and then I want time to stop. David Cochran, CBC News, Ottawa.